All right, there's a couple ways to do weighted shoulder circles. One of my favorite exercises for upper body warm-ups and shoulder health. A great way, one, one of the ways I feel best, I've, I've wrapped or uh, put the band through uh, weight plates and stuff like that, but this works really well. I just have a pair of eight pound dumbbells. Any light dumbbells are gonna be sufficient. So I wrap one around here. Make sure that you can do regular shoulder circles with bands first, shoulder dislocates, healthy, no pain, and then you can eventually start adding weight to it. So wrap it around one, and I'll take it, and I will wrap it and loop it around the other wrist. <coughs> Get it in there fairly even. Boom, see how I'm set up? <coughs> so, wrapped around the wrist here, wrapped around that wrist there. Grab your belts. That simple. Uh, now you don't have to wrap it around the wrist. I can just choke up on the band, but this just feels a lot more stable. Feels a lot better. A couple sets of 10 to 12 or so. <sighs> Trying to keep my ribs down, but I don't always do it perfect. A couple sets of that mixed in with anything else you want, but that's a really good warm up all the time, a couple days a week. Here we go. It's uh, kind of a buff and fluff day today, but we did go a little bit heavier on some vertical pressing and vertical pulling. Nothing crazy heavy, but we did a, a bunch of sets where we worked up to these seated Viking presses with about 80 pounds on each, uh, each bar, plus the weight of the bar, but I just uh, count the, um, the weight. So we had... Uh, eight tens on each side. So we're going to do strip sets for one final set. After several sets of about uh, uh, six to ten reps on the heavier side, we're going to load it up, do as many as you can. You can use rest, pause, drop set variations. But this is a final set, fortitude set, champion set, fifth set, whatever you want to call it. Um, lots of different bodybuilders, strength coaches. Uh, believe in this, some do it, some don't, and they, they use slight different variations. But bottom line is, go balls out on your final set. I don't do it all the time, but uh, it definitely works on occasion. So we start with 80 pounds on each side. I did uh, pretty much as many as I could. I do like a bilateral movement, while both at the same time, and then I'll go one arm at the same time. We give each arm just a few seconds rest, and I can bang out a few more reps. My training partner stripped off 30 pounds each side, so went from 80 down to 50, and now down to 20 each. And they're smoked, um, as you can see. This is uh, pretty much, I think it's close to a two-minute set. Two-minute set just on shoulders. It burns, and uh, as bad as it burns right now, it's not nearly as bad as it is once you step out and you give yourself a minute, two, three minutes, and then it, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Any of you CrossFit type guys that have ever done Fran, if you smash Fran at a life or death pace and do it to the very, very best of your ability, and then you're done, if you can do it in you know three, four, five minutes, and then uh, see what happens to your body five, ten minutes later. It just absolutely annihilates you. And that's kind of what this did just for the shoulders. Okay? So that was a lot of fun. Uh, then uh, Billy got up and he did his shoulder drop set next. Then we did a bunch of pull-ups. I'm still kind of nursing my low back. So this felt pretty good just to do some slow controlled sets of about, uh, we did about eight or nine sets or so in that five, six, seven, eight rep range. It didn't go too crazy, um, but it felt really good. Just be nice and controlled on our pull-ups instead of no flinging, flailing, no heavy weights, just uh, really trying to focus on perfect pull-ups. Bang those out, and then you can see my little setup for the 45-degree uh, the back raise. It's not exactly a 45-degree back raise. It's kind of a hybrid between a glute ham developer back raise or a 45-degree back raise. I just put this little strap right across that, and um, my rack is in a position where I can put my feet right on the bar, or right on the wall, and then I can I can bang those uh, reps out. And then we smashed out a bunch of trapezius shrugs. As you can see, I kind of bend my elbows a little bit, and I focus on a good squeeze. I don't need to go super heavy here, especially right now with my, my back issue, but uh, 
uh, a decent amount of weight. I would say that's probably about 90 pounds or so in each arm. And using that is a pretty nice example.